Hey guys, I uh, just want to make a quick video uh, for anyone trying to modify their factory Mark V fuel pump uh, to fit a larger fuel pump, uh, such as a wall roll Hellcat or 525 LPH pump. Uh, probably similar for a lot of the wall rolls that have a similar body style. I know the 450s have a large bottom end like that, so that makes it a little trickier because it's not the same thickness as the factory style. But either way, this might work for you. Uh, doesn't matter what kind of pump you're installing. Hopefully it gives you a good amount of tips. So um, the factory pump uh, has this plastic piece that's glued in there, in the bottom there. Uh, there's no nice way of pulling it out. As you see, I tried. Uh, it seems like it's glued in there and molded somehow. As the reason I was going to pull this out, assemble it, and then try to drop it back in. But that didn't work. I ended up punching holes in the test pump. So this was just a, for purpose, you know, of this. Uh, it wasn't even a good pump actually uh, before I took apart the good one. So anyways, uh, what you got to do, first off, just break off the top, um, cut the fuel holes, cut your wires, um, and then to pull it out, you know, obviously you got to pull off the top here, there's going to be a couple clips, pull them out, uh, and then you should be able to grab this pump and just pull it straight out. If you do get stuck, uh, like I did on this first pump, this might get stuck to the housing itself. So I might have to modify some things here. And the way I release this is I cut not on these clips. There's two clips here. Not where the clips are, but you cut it on the opposite side right here. That's the only other part holding it. One here and one here. So you're going to be left with a piece like this. So you're going to have to cut here and a cut here. Once you cut that off, then the top should just slide out. Uh, once you get it out, uh, this is a Mark VI pump, I believe, but it's, it's very similar to this. You're going to have a little blue thing and a little sock here. You can go ahead and rip those out out of the whole pump. You don't need them no more. There will also be a little diaphragm on the bottom because on the factory pumps, you use a little suction device here to uh, suck fuel from underneath the bolt. You can go ahead and pull it out. You won't be needing that. <clears throat> this is all speculated that this will work, which I will put in the description if it did work or not. You can see the sock in there. <clears throat> so uh, once you get that out, you get the pump split apart, uh, go ahead and after you clip these off, you gotta shorten this cup. Uh, this is the factory cup. So it's maybe a quarter inch shorter, not, not a drastic difference. Uh, and once you get that shortened up, what I did on this, I heated up these prongs a little bit um, just to bend them in a little bit to get a little more tension in them. And that seems to work great. So that worked out there. Uh, and then go ahead and drop your sock in there. Click your pump on it. Um, I dropped the sock, I believe, through this biggest opening there. Just slid it in there. Drop the pump in there. Um, obviously, you're probably going to have your level sensor and your top hat off. Um, and then you could either cut the black and blue wires, power and ground, and just crimp or solder here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean these up uh, and I desoldered the factory pin wires. Uh, let's see, yeah, the round side's positive, the flat side's negative, uh, and I'm gonna clean up those holes and we'll put them back in and solder them in so it's a cleaner connection. Uh, and this is where the return pipe is. It's gonna fill up the tank. Um, so this style should work. Like I said, this is all just messing around trying to find a way to fit the wall roll hellcat in there but um and then obviously you slip your your hose i would definitely recommend getting the insulation kit it makes life a little easier slide that on clamp it and then for the factory side it has a slightly bigger or smaller hose i should say it's not a i don't think it's a five i think it's a 516 it's not a three eighths so what i did is i just cut a flush to almost where the pipe stops just a little under that and then this way insulation hose will fit fine so you can heat this up to make it go in nicer heat it up slide it on you can put a clamp on it for safety um and this should bend fine only couple things to keep in mind is you know make sure when this collapses together um that this hose isn't kinked on anything and the wires aren't touching where they're not supposed to be touching there's other videos on how to break this down or how to pull these apart uh, there's a spring on one of these and a little tab for her let's see you got a make that straight you gotta flatten it out and then this whole top hat will come off um but this is mostly how to get this to fit uh this seems to work nice for me um let me just show you how it's gonna sit sorry this video is not the best uh, but just a quick video i wanted to make in case somebody out there needed some help because like i said I, I looked through the web and i could not find any info 
uh, on people doing this. So let me get the cup centered. Oh, oh stuck. Okay. Pull the tabs back. That's one. And that's two. You heard him snap. And then I'm going to rotate them to where it's the thickest part of the plastic right there. And that's tight. That's not going nowhere. So that's how I got mine to fit. It looks clean. It fits right. Hopefully it uh, doesn't starve and gets enough fuel. But I guess we'll find out. So yeah, hopefully this video is helpful to somebody. 